In a world that's always rushing, sometimes the coziest nights are the ones spent at home, where the heart finds its comfort and the snacks are just a few steps away. Just a little more seasoning, or maybe a lot more. Can't let him think I'm slacking. Home sweet home. The only place where my socks can roam free. How was your day? Same old, same old. But guess what? You'll never believe what I heard. What is it? Did they finally discover a way to make gym memberships free? Very funny. No, actually, there's a new scary movie coming out. The Forest Hills. I heard it's absolutely terrifying, and I got behind-the-scenes access for a sneak peek. Oh no, not another horror flick. Are you sure you can handle it? Remember the last time you watched one? That was a fluke. The popcorn got stuck in my throat. I'm practically a horror movie veteran now. Just don't come crying to me when you can't sleep at night. And don't blame it on the popcorn monster this time. Speaking of popcorn, let's make some. Movie night isn't complete without it. Good idea. I'm also going to order pizza, because you know I love pizza. I'll be the movie popcorn master. What do we need? Just pour these in and hit the button. But don't burn it this time. I was merely testing the smoke detector. It's an important safety feature. Oh, I just got a text. The pizza delivery guy is in our neighborhood. Look, the trailers for the Forest Hills is about to start. Grab the popcorn and drinks. Oh, great. Just what I need. Nightmares on a silver platter. Can we at least watch something with cats afterward? The pizza man is here. I will be right back. I tipped the pizza guy $10. He was so happy. This pizza is so hot, I can't wait to taste it. Okay, honey, let's watch the trailer now for the Forest Hills. Now you all have to be very careful of the beasts out here. I'm not gonna tell you what kind they are, because every single time I tell the locals, they will just laugh at me like I'm some sort of a clown. And I know I'm not crazy. There's a deep, animalistic, non-human instinct only I can feel. I need to see bloodshed. I, I think right now we should start talking about making you as comfortable as possible. Make sure your your quality of life is as good as it can be. I guess Rico's gonna have to get me a casket. Do you remember I locked you and your sister in the car? I need to get help from my brother. I understand he was seen twice by two of our workers. <laughs> Deep shit right now. Wow, that was intense. I feel like I just ran a marathon in slow motion. Right? I'm telling everyone to see it. It's coming out in October. We could even have a watch party. A watch party? You mean a scream your lungs out party? Count me in, as long as there are kittens afterward. Must have popcorn, pizza, kittens, and a safe space for Lucy. Check. Okay, I'm getting tired. Can you make sure the door is locked? I don't want any popcorn monsters sneaking in. On it. Wouldn't want to wake up to a horror movie sequel right in our living room. I'll see you in the bedroom, okay? Just make sure to keep the lights on. You know, just in case. Lights on, door locked, you're safe. Something terrifying is lurking in the shadows and it's coming for you this October. Be sure to check out The Forest Hills, launching this October. Are you brave enough to watch? Her character was first a cameo role, a Friday the 13th Pamela Voorhees type of flashback. Rico, you're a murderer! After that scene, she expressed interest in working with someone else on camera. I could just sit there and listen to her just talk about anything. A director who's, you know, taking care of things on FaceTime is just as much, you know, it's the same as if he were here. Then being able to finally work with Shelley and be there in person and actually film with her 
She's kind, sweet, gentle, and such an amazing actress. Working with Scott Goldberg was really exciting because we used a lot of uh, new technologies, you know, in cameras. And I, I was amazed at how easy it became to become a filmmaker. That, that this kind of filmmaking is the future. Uh, a smaller, more intimate crew uh, that at any time can be increased uh, per the script and um, the fantastic, I mean, the lighting and all that takes so much less time. Tributes have been pouring in for actress Shelley Duvall, renowned for her unforgettable role as Wendy Torrance in Stanley Kubrick's The Shining and her collaborations with director Robert Altman. Duvall, who passed away at the age of 75, leaves behind a legacy of unique, powerful performances that spanned both horror and heartwarming stories. Stephen King, whose novel inspired The Shining, shared his sorrow, calling Duvall a wonderful, talented, underused actor. Known for her ability to portray quirky, offbeat characters, Duvall also graced the screen in films such as Annie Hall, Popeye, Nashville, and Three Women. In addition to her film career, Duvall was fondly remembered for producing and hosting the beloved 1980s children's show, Fairy Tale Theater. British actor Malcolm McDowell reflected on his time working with Duvall, praising her as a dear friend and wonderful actress who delivered a great performance in Kubrick's The Shining. In a poignant return to the big screen, Duvall's final role was in The Forest Hills, a horror film released shortly before her passing. She will be deeply missed, but her unique spirit, talent, and unforgettable performances will continue to inspire and captivate for generations to come. In the end, it's the little moments that make a house a home. And sometimes, a little scare makes it even better. As long as you have popcorn and pizza and maybe a few kittens for good measure.